This is my final day. You got a raise? I don't fool around, baby. I thought you said Ten Day was in the financial trouble. They were, but they're being absorbed by the big Japanese company. Oh, when did that happen? They're signing the papers next week. Does this mean they're going to be publishing Creamery's coffee table book? Yeah, they'll definitely do it now. Boy, you're on quite a streak. Job promotion, plus you're back with Jake Jarmel. Yeah, it's getting serious. We're moving in together. Boy, you really got it all. I'm sure Helen Gurley Brown would be very proud of you. Speaking of having it all, where were you? I went to the beach. Oh, the beach. It's not working, Gurley. It's not working. What is it that isn't working? Why did it all turn out like this for me? I had so much promise. My life is the opposite of everything I want to be. Every instinct I have in every life. Be it something to wear, something to eat, it's all been wrong. Why don't you just order your lunch two on toast? Yeah. No, 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 wait a minute. I always have two on toast. Nothing's ever worked out for me with two on toast. I want the complete opposite of on toast. Chicken salad, on rye, on toasted, and a cup of tea. Well, there's no telling what could happen from this. Ah, George, you know, the woman just looked at you. So what? What am I supposed to do? Talk to her. A lady, bald man with no jobs and no money who live with their parents don't approach strange women. Well, here's a chance to try the opposite. Instead of tuna salad and being intimidated by a woman, chicken salad and going right up to them. Yes, I should do the opposite. I should. If every instinct you have is wrong, then the opposite would be have to be right. Yes, I would do the opposite. I used to sit here and do nothing and regret it for the rest of the day. So now I will do the opposite do something. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice you were looking in my direction. Oh yes, I was. You just ordered the same lunch as me. My name's George. I'm unemployed and I live with my parents. I'm Victoria. Hi. 